A heartwarming story to share with you today, which is really, really cool. It involves two people, two men, Randy Hatvet and Pat Dardano, and a life-saving kidney donation. And I'm not going to do it justice, guys, in trying to explain what happened here. So, Pat, why don't you start? Um, you and Randy have known each other for, what, 20 years or so? Over. More than 20 years. And so how did the connection come, and how did the donation happen? Maybe kind of fill in the blanks for us. So I shine shoes down the yeah. road here. I'm, uh, I have the shoe shine business for over 30, almost 32, over 32 years. So Randy is one of my clients. We've yes. known each other for close to 20 years or so. I'd say. Yeah. So I, I got sick 12 years ago with the, uh, uh, Wagner's disease. So okay. It was attacking my organs, and eventually I needed a kidney transplant. And one day I was, Randy came along, and he said to me, so what are they doing? He knew I was sick. So about six years ago, he asked me, what are they doing for you? I said, we're getting tested for a kidney transplant. And he said, <clears throat> does it need to be family? He said, I said, no, actually, anybody really can donate a kidney as long as it's a match, uh, blood type and everything. So without telling me, Randy went on, and he kept on the living donor. And so, so what's that? So you go and you, you get tested, and then they figure out if it'll actually work or not? Or? Well, I gave it some thought for a few months, just, yeah. you know, through the you know, holiday period. And um, I wasn't even quite sure who to phone, so I was trying to be very careful as I spoke to Pat, and I said, so, Pat, who's your doctor? And I wonder, uh, you know, wonder who a person would call. Anyway, I didn't do that very well, but uh, <laughs> I eventually contacted the Living Donor Program at the Foothills Hospital okay. in, you know, the North Tower and uh, said to them that I had a friend who looked as though he was about to be in need of a kidney and I'd like to be tested to see if I could be a donor. Sure. And uh, so we spoke a bit on the phone, we got some information and they were going to send out an information uh, uh, you know, package and at the end of the call, this is about mid-January, their last question was, what is you know, your blood type? And I said, well, it's actually O negative and at that point I could hear that you know, the interest shot way up, right? Okay. Because I guess that's a good thing. So they sent the package, I had a look, but one of the things was I'd wanted to try to be anonymous in my donation. And that's not allowed. The recipient has a right to know who is being tested and only one person at a time can be tested. So, you know, Pat knew a lot of people, friends, family, and if they were gonna start to test me, that means that there would be other people who would have to wait while we waited for the results sure. of my testing. Anyway, so for about three months, uh, I went through the testing. You know, both Pat and I had a very comfortable feeling that it was going to go okay. As we knocked off every test, I was good, I was good, we were compatible, and so on and so on. Um, it worked out really well. We had hoped to get the testing finished because it's a long process, a multi month process. We'd hoped to get it finished in time that he would not have to go on to dialysis. But unfortunately, we didn't quite hit that milestone. Okay, and, and if we fast forward, I mean, it's it's been a few years now. Five years. Actually. Five years. It was five now. years. In I, July. I can see you're still getting quite emotional about it's this. It's amazing. <laughs> how do you, do you guys mark the occasion oh, yes. at all? Yeah, we do. We go out for dinner every anniversary. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. Just me and them. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. That's great. And, and so and so, Pat, you're going to be supporting Randy now uh, for the march that's happening this yeah. weekend. And you're Tomorrow's you're going to be at the finish line, yeah, right? I will. I will be, of course, every year. What, what are you gonna? What are you, are you gonna high five him? Are you gonna hug? What, what are you gonna do Just when he crosses my, the finish? Give him a hug. Oh, nice. Hug. We're like brothers now. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, closer <laughs> than amazing. brothers. Yeah, exactly. I would say. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Um, here are the details, by the way. If you're interested in the kidney march, it's 100 kilometers. Um, that, that's quite a jaunt, Randy. Fourth it time, is. though, you're saying, right? It is. Fourth time. Good for you. Starts in Millerville, ends at COP, Canada Olympic Park, Friday to Sunday. Uh, we have all kinds of information on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Are you going to go out for dinner once he crosses the finish line, too? We, or? we will eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah we should, <laughs> yeah. Actually, at the end of the finish line, there are years I'm thinking, I'm done. I'm just going home. And then I you know, have other years when I think, sure, why not? Go another 100K. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in, no, guys, no and sharing your story. Thank you. Wow. That's, uh, that's quite the